Hey folks, Quillateen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Kerbal Space Program. Our mission is to save Val. Valentina is stuck in space without any juice. She is in a safe orbit, a somewhat eccentric orbit here, um, is that it's 700k, uh, or 700,000 meters over here, and 154,000 meters over here, so a sort of an eccentric orbit over here, but she is safe. We're not running with the... Um, the TAC mod that adds life support requirements, so she can she can wait a few more days. So her mission's already been going on for 32 days. What's another day while we figure out how to get a rescue mission over here? The plan is to get a ship very nearby um, and have her EVA grab all the data that's in here and transfer to the other ship. So let's let's go back to the space center, shall we? <clears throat> so. We need enough Delta V to get into orbit, um, but that's about all. Let's see here. We could use a similar design to the last Minmus, but it's got to have a different top. Now, the problem is I don't have any command modules that can fit more people, do I? Tin can is one. No, I do have some science left over that I didn't spend um, last uh, last episode or last couple episodes. All right, I had a couple of hundred. This doesn't include the science that we're going to get from Valentina after we rescue her, and we will, of course, rescue her. Um, propulsion systems, no. Miniaturization, no. And then we get the aerodynamics. I think we have to pay to upgrade to get the new command modules. That's what I'm looking for with a higher crew capacity. On the other hand, on the other hand, I could send up an unmanned ship with, with room. There's no reason they couldn't do that. So this is the ship we use to go to Minmus. Let's assume we want to keep the base of it the same, right? Let's assume everything from, um, probably don't need that top stabilizer, actually. Let's do that. And then get rid of this aspect. Who needs that? Not us. We're going to put in, so we're going to launch with the Probo. Where'd it go? Right over there. And then we're going to leave a command pod on top of that. An expensive mission, I mean... But it's got to be done. Stack decoupler. And then that. And then how do we change the route? We do... We pick one and then we pick the second one. Yeah, there we go. So this is properly the route of our of our ship now. Which is what I'm looking for. So the probo is just going to be used to get us into space, basically. Um, effectively, we're doing this. Obviously, we will need a parachute on the top. Uh, where's that? Utilities, that's where it is. Silly me. Parachute on the top. Um, interesting, these um, supports ended up hooking up there. That's Which is fine, in a sense. Uh, do I have RCS reserves? Yes, I have the roundified monopropellant tank. Oh, okay. So it's not when I fit somewhere else, it's just I just stick it on somewhere. Anyway, inside there. Try to get a little bit less drag going on. Okay. And then we want some RCS blocks, which is under command and control. We want some there and there. So maybe we want some on the capsule. Might be better if I put him. Not sure. I don't know if it matters if I put it there if that gets blocked. I don't think so. Um, where do we get our list of how much mono propellant we've got? What's this? Oh right, we haven't been uh, we haven't been rescuing these bits. I forgot all about that. I'm wasting some money by not saving our little bits and pieces over here. Hang on. We want some radial parachutes. That should be sufficient for that, which this should fire. Same time we detach those. <clears throat> we can try to save this thing too, although it's maybe just going to be stuck in orbit. Four. I don't even know if that's going to be enough. You know what? We'll accept the loss of that part. That's going to be fine. We'll try to reuse these side boosters and save that. So we have some RCS here to hopefully make some of the space-based maneuvering a little bit easier. I'm not sure if it will be. 
if we can try. We don't actually have a whole lot of reaction wheels in here, so having something to allow us to rotate around will be nice. Um, tell you what, let me put in another one. Over, ooh. Yeah, hold on. Delete. Remove that. I'm just going to go into one time symmetry and I will put it over here. Like so. And just so we have lots of ability to maneuver, because I don't know how long this is going to take. We might, I might like be really crap at organizing this. I'm going to throw down some solar panels there. We don't need batteries, so we could run out of maneuver time on the far side. Okay, that's probably way more batteries than we need, but what the hell. What the hell? Spare no expense. We have to save Valentina, who's still stuck up there in orbit. Okay, this is going to be the Minmus. Well, this is going to be the orbital rescue. One. I suspect we might have to do this more than once. Okay, all right. We're fine. This is way overkill. Actually, um, if I remove these and that... Yeah, this is going to be more than enough juice. We can actually save that money completely, completely, completely. And I'm also going to remove this stabilizer, which shouldn't be required. Now that we've got that one down there, we've got... Uh... Do we want one in this bit? Because that's what we don't have. No, you know what? This has got some reaction wheels and so does that. We'll be fine. In atmospheric flight, we've also got our fins. I think we're going to be okay. All right, let's check here. We got the main engine go. Um, then we drop the stability enhancers, which can really be done right away. Separate, light the next stage. Separate this, like so. All right. Our mission is to rescue Valentina. Step one, get into orbit. She's stuck in there. Stuck. Just because I, I decided to be like, I, I took a, ver a relatively inefficient way to like bring her back to the planet because I didn't want to like sort of screw up and overdo things, but I didn't leave myself with enough juice. Okay, that on SAS turn on. We've got some SAS, which is going to be great. Launch and detach. Yes, yeah, so it's going to be a little slower going here, which is totally okay. I'll just bring this over a bit. A bit of a wobble. We have, like, unlimited electric charge. I'm overkilling it. Turns out it wasn't electric charge that killed us last time. Alright, turn off the SAS, and we should actually be gravity turning now. I might have to give it just a scooch more. There we go. We actually gravity turn left with the fins, because it actually keeps us pointing more retrograde. Because of how streamlined it is up here, we actually might be getting a lot less auto gravity turn than before. I'm actually having to... Oops. There's a bit of a lag there for a second, and then it just went like crazy. Bit of a heating issue, but that's fine. That's fine. Definitely want a little bit more. So yeah, I'm, I'm really having to do my own here. And I think it's because the fins are really... They're pulling me prograde as much as possible. Oop. SAS here. I might have overkilled something. All right, let's get back to it. Crossing the 15,000. It's definitely time to be going to about 45 degrees. Yeah, so that was not very smooth or very efficient. Can definitely be at the 45 degree mark now, though. Now we'll have to keep fighting it to bring that. I, what I'm missing is my engineering helper. Whoopsie daisy. What are we looking at here? Apo closing in very quickly. Apo, all right, let's bring it down. This should not be doing these maneuvers like this. Without the engineering info, certainly a lot trickier. And yeah, so definite lack of efficiency. And cut engines. Okay, so we still have a little bit of juice left. Not much, but some. Uh, it should be enough to round off our orbit, which is going to be fine. There's the Minmus 1 tin can. I set that as our target. Okay, it's not terribly um, eccentric, which is 
going to be nice. We should be able to put up with that. So we are just going to wait until we get to our apoapsis. It's nice to have that information on the HUD as opposed to over here. Let me fast forward a little bit. Okay, should not be a terribly long burn. <clears throat> Again, I'll start at about 20 seconds, I think. So we can start a little sooner. Yeah, you know what? We can afford to start a little sooner just because we do have to raise our apo as well. Okay, we are basically facing prograde. Am I off? Yes. Let's turn ourselves to face totally prograde. A little more. Okay. And go to full burn. I don't know why you don't get engine sounds on this screen. Mm, I wish I'd included the engineering redux module. Keep burning prograde. Keep at it. Keep at it. Do I still have juice? I do. Okay. And I think we just ran out. Cool. I'm going to throttle all the way down. I said throttle all the way down. There it is. Bust that off. Okay, good. Now. It's our declination marker over here. So we're going down at that point. So what we really want is to bring it up at that point. So we want to burn normal. Uh, do I, did I still maneuver? No, okay, good. It's right here. Now, all I can do, as far as I can tell, is orbit it. Or um, eyeball it. In any case. Oops, that was, oh, so it's too much. Too much, too much. Down, 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 down. Okay, it's gonna be pretty damn close. So 143 delta V in three minutes. All right, let's turn to face our maneuver node. We have unlimited power, so we can keep on the SAS. Okay. Oh, estimated burn four minutes. Doesn't seem right. No, no, what? Not for 143 delta V. Just doesn't have the info properly yet. There's no way. There's no way in hell. I hope. Might be wrong. Start to burn at one minute here. See what it says. Yeah, no. It's going to take ten more seconds. That's what I thought. Don't you lie to me, game. Woo! And whoa! And burn! Still point of maneuver, still point of maneuver. And stop. Okay. How far are we? Zero percent deviation from the uh, the orbital inclination here. Excellent. Excellent. Um, our parry is 72. Apo is 127. A little close there, but that's okay. So. I mean, we weren't going to want to turn this around. Doesn't really matter exactly where I burn per se here to try to get the shape. Because we do have to rotate around, and unless I want to do a burn in the um, like a what, radial to sort of switch where orbit is. So, really, what I want to do actually is I'm going to want my APO to be over here. Which means I sort of want to do a burn here, which should increase that size of it the most, right? Like on the opposite side. Similarly, I could do a bit of a burn right around here, just to increase that side of it. I think that's right. Let's try this. If I go and do that burn... Yeah, mostly... There we go. We actually get our approach markers. All right, let's start with this. I know I know there's more things, but let's start with this. And less than a minute. Okay, I do have to find my maneuver node. There it is. I don't know what the pink marker means. I think that's like pro directly towards my target. If I were to burn pointing there, that would be it. About a two second burn to get that point. Now, I don't have to ma match both parts, but 
I don't want to, if I want, if I can avoid it, I don't want a really brief encounter. I want to be actually locked in orbit properly. Plus, I do have to do the approach. So, node is approaching just a two-second burn. There we go. Good stuff. Okay. So, target position in intersect one, target position in intersect two. This is like the closest position I will get, which is not very close as is. So now my idea is, on the other side, add a maneuver that will get us almost in the same orbit. And then bring the two little things as close together as possible. Almost. And then it might take me a few loops around to get to it. So by having a slightly shorter orbit, I should catch up, is the idea. That's what I'm looking to do. And then at some point, on some orbit, I'll be turbo close. So let me go and fast forward. I have no idea if what I'm doing makes any sense. That's what I'm going with. Two cans are getting pretty close together. Okay, less than a minute. Let's find the maneuver. Needs a fair deal of burn. I think I've got plenty left. And then we still have all the RCS stuff. Although the hope with that was more fine tuning. Okay, bring it up. Bring it all the way down. Change our thing a little bit. Gonna be a little bit late. There we go. Bring it up and up and up. Fuel is good. Fuel is very good. Yeah, okay. Alright. Good enough. So, now I know one of the things the Kerbal Alarm Clock can do is, can it not one, do an approach thing? Closest slash target distance. So what's the difference in orbits? Is it crazy? Maybe it's too crazy. Maybe I should burn a little bit more. Where am I right now? That's not me. That's me over here. I'm basically at my periaps. Burn a little bit more. There we go. Okay. Closest approach will be in about five hours. On orbit six. If I search out the ten orbits. And six orbits will be 13 kilometers apart. Which is still pretty big. <clears throat> I really don't know how to plot this. As the best way. It's still very far apart. I mean, at a certain point, we can sort of fly directly. We can sort of point directly at our target, burn towards it, and that'll be fine. I, I'm hoping this is okay. I'm a little shorter, so I should be speeding up and catching up and catching up. Fuck it. Let's do it. Add alarm. I probably could have done this a lot faster if I had kept my orbit a little shorter. Time, again, we have sort of, we don't have um, limited life support systems, so I can afford to be kind of gingerly here. See, on every loop, we're getting closer and closer and closer. There we are. <clears throat> in fact, in a sense, if I were... It's not... We could have gotten closer. Is this close enough that I want to just fly direct? I guess so. Okay, now how the fuck do we do that? So... I do have a target set. So again, I think... That, I'm assuming, is retro to the target. 
based on everything we were seeing before. And that's pro to the target. Can I see my target? Yes, I can. And indeed, that is correct. So, if I just burn literally in this direction... Fuck it, there's only one way to find out. We can always send another rescue ship up later. <laughs> So at this point, we're basically ignoring orbital mechanics. Okay, now stop burn, because we're keeping, we're gonna keep closing in. Right, of course, I don't have to burn forever. Okay. There's a, I can go to, sort of docking view. I don't know if that's particularly relevant. We're mostly just going to eyeball this. We're going to ignore a lot of things about like actual proper science. Oh, there we go. Speed relative to target. That's going to be useful. That's going to be useful. Okay, guys, we can do this. What I think I'm going to do I think I'm going to put a cut in here. We're going to deal with the sort of like final approach in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. I'm really hoping we can save Valentina. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.